Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another Apecoin price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Apecoin chart which at the time of this recording has lost the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance and that is after seeing a bit of a pullback after making our high at around the 5.84 dollar mark and that is a high that we made after seeing a breakout out of this chart pattern that we had over here which was giving me a minimum target area to the upside at around the 5.89 dollar mark which is a target area that you have almost fully maximized we have also fully maximized our target areas to the lower side in the formation of these higher edu 12.4 within this red target area and made our low at around the 4.75 dollar mark and there are chances that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 5 and before i give you my next price targets to the upside in the formation of that wave 5 first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the four hour chart by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening where you can see that after making our low at around the 2.5976 dollar mark we started this massive bounce to the upside of being the edu structures having that with five making its peak at around the 4.6 dollar mark and also completing the formation of that higher edu wave count one and after seeing the formation of a higher edu 12 count one whatever we expected next is a corrective structure giving us the law for that second wave which we have seen over here and after seeing the law for that higher edu 12 count two we started this massive bounce to the upside in the formation of these higher edu 12 count three in a move that has now given us a peak at around the 6.42 dollar mark and after seeing the high for that with three whatever we expected next is a corrective structure in the formation of a larger edu 12 count four and using the fibonacci's connect them from the low of the second wave to the high of that with three that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that with four between the fib level 0.382 and the fib level 0.618 which is a target area that we have fully maximized and now i believe that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of that with five and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that with five by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of of that with one then dragging the fibs to the high of that with three that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that with five at the fib level 0 0.618 and that is at around the 7.6504 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting that with five to the upside to do and because a wave five to the upside is an impulsive wave i'm also expecting to see a five wave structure in formation within the formation of that with five where i'm expecting such a move having the wave five fully maximizing our target areas to the upside in the formation of these larger edu 12 count 5 at the fib level 0 0.618 and i believe we are seeing such a move here on the ape coin chart where after making our low in the formation of that fourth wave at around the 4.75 dollar mark we saw this bounce to the upside making the high for that first wave at around the 5.85 dollar mark in the formation of that wave one so we can term this structure right here as the first wave to the upside then whatever we are seeing is the corrective structure in the formation of these with two before we can expect a wave three then a wave four and then push even higher in that wave five to fully maximize the formation of these larger edu 12 count five and getting to see whether the second wave right here has done the minimum that we expect a second wave to the lower side to do by connecting the fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one that gives me a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of that with two between the fib level 0 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.618 which is a target area that we have now fully maximized and there are chances that soon we are going to start that impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of that with five and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of these with three we can connect the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that with one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that with three at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 6.8837 dollar mark then expect a wave four and then push even higher in the formation of that with five and for these wave three to also play out we need to get above the 20 day ma here on the four hour chart and once we get above the 20 day ma that 
could trigger even higher prices and also give us the support that we need for us to continue pushing higher get above the six dollar mark which is our next key area of resistance and the moment we manage to break above the six dollar mark then i'll be expecting a retest then we can continue pushing even higher to fully maximize our target areas in the formation of these wave three so that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and also on the long term scenarios and if i also take a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported on the rsi we are trading at around the 47 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in the formation of that with three on the MACD, we have been able to print a bearish cross and we are also seeing a bit of an increase in the selling momentum meaning there are chances of still seeing a bit of a bearish short term bearish movement before we can start that massive bounce to the upside in the formation of that higher edge with country so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated